everybody good evening everyone happy how was your weekend and happy new week okay right now i'm going to walk you walk you through step by step on what how you can access your mobile mt4 so when you download your mobile mt4 app install it uh, actually what i'm using on the system here is called emulator so when you download your mobile app mt4 in your system the first thing you have to do is just install it after installation then open the app and allow it to load so on loading it it's going to show you something like this after on the loading uh, after loading so it asks you to open a demo account or log into an existing account so if you have a created account with any broker you you are using for example i used hot forex and i gave a vid video about how you can create an account on hot forex and verify your account you click this login detail and login so as soon as you so as soon as you install your app it's going to show up like this without this chart you just you, you're not going to you, you are not going to see this chart at all hope you got me you are not going to see this chart at all so the first thing you need to do is just to click this image here that looks like a, a, a passport image or human being image click on it click this plot sign on top of the bar then click login so when you click login they ask you to search for a broker which broker search sorry yes of course search for a broker so it all depends on the broker you registered with so if you registered on hot forex they are going to give you a server they're going to send you a login detail with the server with the server detail so when if you register if you register to, on any broker hot forex forex time fbs and many of them around they're going to send you a detail to your email and the server if you want to trade on mt4 and the server detail so you copy the server detail when you copy the server detail you come here and place the server detail so as i showed you guys in the, my first video about creating an account with hot forex they will send you a server id number password investor password server detail so copy the server detail come here and place it place it, it, it it's gonna run it's gonna run a search on the server and bring out the server you placed in so next thing just to click and choose the server then you now put your id and password and click sign in so i've already done that here i've already done that here and i'm already signed in here okay now this is normal demo account which you see i've already signed in now since i've signed in now the four currency the five sorry four or five basic currency that forex uh, uh, forex world do trade will populate here i just added this one just complete like one two three four five six I like it is it's either six or four six or five sorry so it's going to populate here and this chart is going to show up as soon as you log in then you see your balance of on your demo account if you create a, if you use a demo account or if you use a um if you use a live account you see your balance here now what next do you do since i've shown you guys how to log in the second icon here by the left hand side is price chart it's called its currency pairs the base and quotes then the bid and ask price the low and high it's just the bid and ask and low and high depending on what you see in your this thing and you see every detail here euro us dollar spread 41 everything is written here now if i want to add more currency and i said i want to trade gold or you say no gold is a xud xau euro this gold and other xau us dollar also those are this one is also gold now if you want to trade add more, more currency here what do you do when you click on this little up and down arrow your, on your mobile phone then it's going to show you some few currencies and you, you didn't it assume you want to trade a, a cryptocurrency and you didn't see it here instead see this plus sign on top of here you click this plus sign then search for crypto you have crypto one you have crypto when i click on this crypto you know show me btc to euro bitcoin to us dollar if i don't want it i have to go to this small icon on the left hand side and click back and come to cryptocurrency one you see dash and btc say okay i want to trade this dash and btc when i click on it once it's going to add up in the currency i've always listed for me to for, for for trading so when i click on it now it's already added 
How do I know it's already added? You come back to this up and down arrow here on your mobile, click on it, then search for that uh, dash BTC. See this dash BTC? I just added the solution here. So if I click on it, I say I want to show this dash BTC and click on it, it's going to change. It's going to come into this background and show you the, and show you the chart. And how will you know which dash, dash coin and BTC? You see the icon here and it's one minute chart. Okay, that aside, the second icon below. <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me sorry about that the second icon is the message box as soon as you log in you get a message the third one is the news the news you can click and read news and you know click on it the news you, the news will show up here I'll allow you to load after loading you can go through the news and so on and so forth so that's it this is the news then let me go back to the chat yes this is the last the fourth, fourth the fifth one is chat when you log in you can uh, chat with uh, top brokers and professionals then settings you can read through all these things and, and you know highlight uh, and check all the boxes here is good and click done then the last one is this but in your mobile phone i'm using this i'm using this uh, laptop emulator as a mobile stuff so in your laptop in your phone by smartphone you see something like chat chat and so on and so forth i'm still i'll find a way and show you show you guys chat here so or I'll find a way and show you guys chat then i think i've covered this left hand side of this uh, uh mobile mt4 mobile app so you see charts maybe you see charts and all of that stuff here so try and assess it try and play around with it you understand it now aside that when you scroll when you come down to this terminal and in the mt4 i told you guys it's a terminal when you come down to this terminal you see trade on this trade you see your balance and all that is on that stuff when you after placing a trade and you lose and win and you close profit take profit i want to see the history of the trade you click history here it's going to show you the history of your trade then the journal is just the write-up and the one other stuff and how you log into your chart and all the, the, the stuff you click and so on and so forth so you trade come back again let's come up let's go back to trade and let's uh, bring it down yeah i think i've covered a little thing about here then back to, to chart back to trading pairs all right then this edit button here this is edit button if you want to you know remove most of the currencies here like gpp click on it and you know do one of the things with it i think it's not gonna it's not working because the market is closed all right then on the right hand side if you want to place a trade if you don't want to use this icon here and i want to change and if you want to, okay let me say if you don't want to use trade uh, euro usd it's changed to euro usd fine good then if you don't, if you don't want to use it here what do you do? So if you don't want to use it here, what do you do? You come to this currency here and click on it and choose any currency. Let me say I want to do Euro, Euro, Euro Japanese pounds. So you click on it. It's going to change here. It's going, to load. it's going to load for you here for you to trade on your mobile platform. This is not empty from laptop. This is mobile. Okay. That aside, how will you know it shows here? You know, GPP and is well is the chart the chart is one minute. So what what do I mean by one minute? One minute is each each candlestick here is one minute to ex it expires in one minute. Each candlestick expires in one minute. You can choose one minute, five minutes, fifteen minutes, one hour, four hours, and so on and so forth. So I think I've covered that. Then if you want to change the time frame, I want to go for five minutes. You come to the center or any middle of your chart, click on it. I'm going to show you something like this. So you choose this one minute, five minutes, 15, 30, one hour, four hours, day, day trade, week trade, and month trade. Then concerning the chart I'm talking about, which you, which you maybe see at the left hand side of your phone, of your smartphone, after installing the MT4. Let me see if this is work, it's working. Okay, yeah, I think this is it in this emulator. So you see alligator, you see indicator, alligator indicator, you see moving average, is all this in a chart, relative index strength. All these not all those things, all these things you see are chart. So add sure you click this add button here. F1 wanna add another indicator, I'll add if I want to remove indicator. Let me see if I can remove this indicator here. Uh I think I can't set as default. No, 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 no. It is I can't remove this indicator. I think it's already there, but you can do that on your mobile phone because this is an emulator I'm using to teach you guys this. Okay, you can add see a lot of indicators here and uh, uh, oscillators 
uh, Bill Williams. You know, you 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 all know about Bill, Bill Williams. So all the stuff. Then coming down here, you see indicator window. Click on it. You can add indicator window. It's something I showed you up up there. So I think, but in your mobile phone, if you see something like chat here, when you click on it, you can you see all this all this stuff. I'm I'm showing you a left hand side here. Chimoku, Kingo High, Kingo Hoi, indicator and all those stuff here. Okay, I think I've done that. Then when you click on this middle place, you choose your choose your time frame. Because each time frame represents each candlestick. So if you take one minute, each candlestick expires in one minute and changes to another one. Five minutes, something. Fifteen minutes, one hour, four hours. Each candlestick expires in four hours, and the chart is going to change change for you. All right. So if you if you are if you're a good trade, you are trading in five minutes. You choose five minutes. If you are trading in fifteen minutes, you do that. If you are trading in thirty minutes, you do that. If you are trading, you are trading in one hour, you do that. If you are trading in four hours, if you are you doing a day trade and you are sure of what you have analyzed in the market for you to trade. Cool. You do the, do the day trade, do the week trade, do the month trade, depending on your analysis and where you get your analysis. Okay, so what you see down here is, is what we call, uh, this, this is a, an indicator, RSI indicator. So, we still talk about this, in the, we still talk about indicators, when I started talking about indicators, uh, but I've listed in the Telegram group. Alright, so, then how do you place a trade in the MT4 mobile? You see this plus sign at right, at right top right top of your mobile phone so when you place when you when you click this plus sign here it's going to show you how to place a trade so you have the lot size there is all this thing you see here is lot size all of them are lot size the left hand side is that stop loss the green green line here is take profit it's either you buy or you sell so let's say i want to buy the market is close to this though so if I buy, excuse me, <laughs> if I want to buy, I buy, if I want to sell, I sell. So if I buy and I want to close the trade, I have to, uh, market is closed. So uh, yeah, it's just market is closed. Like That's why it showed me this stuff here. So if I want to buy, I buy. Then if I want to close it, if I want to close a market. I have to come down here because when I place a trade, when I scroll down here, it's going to show me the trade I placed here along this side. See, it's show me show me the trade I placed because the symbol is here. Order, time, table, all those stuff going to show me everything here. When I double click on the, when I double click on the, when I double click on the, the trade or the, the pair I trade I placed trade on, I have to click close trade. So I think you need to you guys need to practice that on your own. You place a trade, you double. When the trade is going, I see you are taking profit here. Plus, 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 not minus. Plus, 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 plus. You double click on the double click, or, or you click once. Touch your touch your hand on the pairs you are trading on. It's going to show up a new window for you. You click close trade, take profit, and just close trade and take a profit. That's all. So I think I've covered little things about this MT4 uh, mobile app. This one, this button here, plus and just to take place a trade. For you to add a, a lot size, we can click plus, you can click plus, plus, or you can click plus, you're gonna add plus two, minus, you're gonna add plus one, you're gonna add minus this, or minus this, you're gonna come back to the lowest mini, my sorry, micro lot size. I have mini, micro, and other lot size. This is a micro lot size also, or mini, I don't know. Yeah, mini, mi sorry, mini, <coughs> micro lot size, sorry. Don't wanna get you don't wanna want get you guys confused. So I think I've covered so much about this MT4 mobile and I think you can you explore more on your own and understand it yourself. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is um indicators and how to use indicators, few ways I know how to use indicators. You can make research online and find more because there are people a lot of people around the world teaches it. So I'll tell you what I know about indicators and charts and how to you know use it to place a trade and so on and so forth. So thank you guys. God bless you. Don't forget to share, subscribe.